Genel Isparta Uygulamalı Bilimler Üniversitesi Uluslararası Tıbbi Sürük Sektörü web seminerimize tüm izleyenlerimiz hoş geldiniz. Pandemi dolayısıyla online gerçekleştirdiğimiz seminerimiz 24 ve 25 Şubat yani bugün ve yarın devam edecek. Distinguished participants, I welcome you all to the international webinar on medicinal leech. You will be able to have access, online access to the webinar throughout the two days. We have Sparta Applied Sciences University Rector, Mr. Ibrahim Dela. Can you please mute yourself? And we have online participants and participants from the studio. We will go on that way. Uh, professor, welcome, by the way. How are you? We're fine, thank you. Well, we're doing our best under the conditions brought about by COVID-19. We are trying to do our best. And uh, I'll give the floor over to you, Professor, Mr. Rector of the University. Okay, please go ahead. Distinguished, distinguished, FAO Turkey representative and FAO sub-regional coordinator for Central Asia, Mr. Rural Guto. Distinguished General Director of Fisheries and Agriculture, Alto Otola from the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry. Distinguished General Director of TAGEM, Agricultural Research and Policies of the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry. Distinguished Distinguished General Director of Health Sciences from the Ministry of Health. Distinguished Head of Department of Complementary and Traditional Medicine of the General Directorate of Health Services of the Ministry of Health. I like to welcome you all, distinguished academics joining and participants joining us today. I welcome you all, distinguished personnel of the public organizations, all the stakeholders here, as well as the university, dear youth. Which are who are inject, uh, injecting hope to our soul for the future, distinguished people who are engaged in um, aquaculture and collection of medicinal leech. I like to welcome you all and say good morning to you all. Our university has been established in 2018. Sparta Applied Sciences University attaches great importance when it comes to common wisdom in the area of scientific work. I like to welcome you to the international webinar on medicinal leech. Greeting you all deeply at the beginning. I'm sorry, people have to mute their microphones. I like to. I like to. First of all, extend my heartfelt thanks to the Dean and Faculty of Aquaculture of the Sparta Applied Sciences University. And I'd like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. And I'd like to, at the same time, thank wholeheartedly and deeply the, the representatives uh, Minister of Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry with which we have been collaborating for, for a long time successfully. I'd like to thank everybody um, representing their institutions here today. Our webinar will last for two days. And in this webinar, we are going to, we are going to listen to a number of academics and what, to what they have to say in the area of medicinal leech. Uh, because medicine and leech is economically and ecologically is so much important. And at the same time, especially in recent years, medicine and leech has started to adopt a very important place when it comes to complementary and traditional medicine. And I, I like to thank Azerbaijan, India, Iran, Spain, Canada, Roman Romania and Ukraine representatives uh, for attending this webinar, joining us. I'd like to welcome all those distinguished academics from all those different countries. We are going to listen to their important presentations and this way we are going to um, have the chance to get to know the medicinal leech sectors around the world, around our countries. As the rector of the university, he's so much interested in the area of aquaculture. Um, I have been 
I have been also following up with the developments when it comes to uh, the impacts of climate cha change, including drought uh, and drought. And drought also is impacting the sector of medicinal leach. Uh, the decreased precipitation and uh, the and the erratic rainfall from time to time and the drought brought about by the changing climate um, is impacting the medicinal leach sector heavily. In Turkey, we have this, we had many wetlands in Turkey, which were locally called as uh, the, uh, the lakes with leach by the local people drying out. They are drying out currently and also and also after the insemination of some alien invasive alien species into the lakes and into the water bodies, we see a great decrease in the uh, number of the populations of the leech, medicinal leech. This is why we have to adopt better responsibilities when it comes to protecting our natural resources and also uh, leaving our natural resources to the next generations in uh, good states, in good conditions. We are reminding, uh, reminded of this uh, uh, of uh, the sector of medicinal leach, uh, we can see records dating back to uh, 5,000 years ago, uh, 1,000 years before today, uh, the ancient Egypt records we can see um, when it comes to leach, use of leach in traditional medicine. And we can also see some reports and records of the use of medicinal leech in the Islamic uh, communities during the era of the Prophet Muhammad. We could see that we could see that leech used to, uh, used to be used. So medicinal leech sector has a long, very long history, but still it has only been recently that the modern use of leech has made its way into the uh, modern medicinal uh, sector, leech sector. And we know that FDA has um, approved the use of leech in modern medicine um, in, in recent years, and it has been a breaking point when it comes to this, uh, the developments in this sector. And in Turkey in 2014, uh, traditional and complementary medicine medis, medicine uh, practices regulation has been adopted uh, to cover the use of medicinal leach in 15 different types of treatment uh, for the patients. And uh, this regulation has really greatly shaped the overall practice of the use of medicinal leach in Turkey. And the leach to be used uh, in the treatment um, is to be, has to be produced, has to be bred in the licensed uh, farms in Turkey, leech farms in Turkey, uh, as per this regulation. And, and what? Back then, at the first presentation, introduction of the regulation, we had only two registered licensed farms which were conducting leech breeding, but today we have eight of them in Turkey. As I said at the beginning uh, of my speech, and we do not have actually lots of academics engaged in research of medicinal leech. So it means that we need lots of research um, and the research uh, is being delayed because of the lack of uh, academics in this sector and delays in research also uh, delays the solution of lots of technical problems that we're having in this in this sector unfortunately this is a reality this regulation that i mentioned before before this regulation on traditional uh, medicine unlicensed people, unauthorized people and unauthorized enterprises uh, got engaged in the use of um, medicinal leech um, in an unauthorized way uh, in treatment of the people, unfortunately. Uh, that's why came the regulation called traditional and complementary medicine uh, regulation in Turkey, which is also appreciated and praised by the WHO. And thanks to this, uh, thanks to this regulation, thanks to this regulation, only licensed farms uh, can provide and supply um, leach uh, to the sector and uh, to the treatment facilities. And treatment uh, of the patients can place under licensed conditions only with the use of licensed leach. Taking this opportunity, I like to thank, I like to thank in advance 
uh, the head of department of complementary and traditional medicine from the Minister of Health, Mr. Kalaiji and his team. He is also going to make a presentation on the second day of the webinar. Thank you very much, sir. Traditional medicine takes an important, holds an important position uh, in the overall history of Turkey, of us. That's why we attach great importance to the developments and growth, growth in the area of medicinal leech sector. As Asparta Applied Sciences University, we would like to see the rolling out and scaling up of the use of uh, medicinal leech um, in the society. And also we would like to see uh, more research being conducted in other settings in other universities as well and we are ready to collaborate um, in any way required medicinal if you're working on the impact of medicinal and aromatic plants um, on people and and also um, we are trying to research what could be done in order to uh, overcome the challenges in the area of medicine and leech. And we will be trying to contribute to this webinar by uh, developing upon some of the details of research in this area. And taking, uh, taking this opportunity, I'd like to mention that uh, two days ago, our uh, medicinal leech um, research center uh, has been um, has been opened and published in the official gazette two days ago this is good news we have a research center about leech sector anymore and in our research center we are going to uh, research international trends when it comes to production of medicinal leech we are going to uh, do uh, some graduate training programs and also we are going to organize international webinars as the one that we are having today and we will be contributing to the research and development in the area of leech uh, sector in Turkey in a multidisciplinary uh, way thanks to the um, thanks to this research uh, center that's why we attach great importance to every kind of collaboration collaborative actions that we can uh, engage with you uh, within the principle of common wisdom that we can contribute all together to Hopefully, today's webinar will set the basis for future collaboration and contribution uh, and, and, and, and uh, cooperation between us all. You know, demand for leech is increasing. On the other hand, we do not have the uh, required production volume. Um, production volume to meet the demand in Turkey. That's why there is an increased pressure um, on the suppliers of leech in, in Turkey currently. And the scientific research shows that uh, in a majority of the wetlands in Turkey, the populations of leech is decreasing. And unfortunately, in some of the wetlands, uh, the leech has been depleted totally. We know and leech are considered to be endangered. That's why, that's why they are regulated by the CITES Convention. CITES Convention, uh, which is the Convention on the International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. So uh, we're also taking um, CITES as the basis when we are conducting any activity in the leech sector. Uh, we can see that CITES is shaping the economy um, of economy uh, in the area of leech greatly. And on the other hand, we need to uh, talk about the fact that our customs, um, customs general directorate, customs enforcement general directorate is following up closely uh, with the developments in the seizures of the, um, of uh, the leech which is being smuggled into the country and from the country. Turkey uh, has been one of the um, one of the catalyzing countries when it comes to production um, and collection of medicinal leech. So as Sparta Applied Sciences University, we um, attach great importance to any activity to be done in this sector. That's why this webinar, international webinar specifically, means a lot to us. And this is why, this is why 
uh, we wanted to we wanted to lead the organization of this international webinar on medicinal leech uh, sector in Turkey with the involvement of uh, lots of distinguished in, uh, international um, academics. Uh, today and tomorrow we are going to hopefully uh, come up with an international roadmap uh, on what we have to do next when it comes to medicinal leech sectors in our uh, respective countries and around the world. Hopefully uh, there will be concrete recommendations coming out of this of webinar um, about how, how we can improve uh, the medicinal leech sectors around the world. Hopefully this webinar will set the basis for future collaboration between us all. We hopefully will work collaboratively uh, and do good for the humanity. Our gates are wide open to cooperation and collaboration with each and every one of you. I like to, with this in mind, I like to greet you all um, and welcome you all once again. I wish a very successful webinar to us all. Thank you very much. All the greetings. Thank you very much, Mr. Rector of the University. Distinguished guests and viewers, we will have the next speaker at the moment, if you're okay. I'd like to invite to the floor the General Director of Fisheries and Aquaculture, Mr. Mustafa Alto Atalay from the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry. He is going to make an online speech. He is not in the studio. I'd like to welcome everybody, distinguished guests, distinguished uh, participants. Welcome, distinguished FAO Turkey representative and FAO uh, coordinator for Central Asia, sub region coordinator for Central Asia, uh, Mr. Rector of the University, um, distinguished guests and participants. I'd like to welcome you all and greet you all wholeheartedly. I welcome you all to the international webinar, international webinar uh, on the international uh, medicinal lead sector. I'd like to welcome you all once again. I'd like, I'd like to thank everybody who has made an effort in organizing this important um, event. I'd like to thank you on behalf of uh, the General Directorate, on behalf of the Ministry and on my personal behalf. And I'd like to thank India, Iran, uh, Spain, Canada, Romania and Ukraine representatives for um, uh, sparing uh, no efforts uh, to join us today. And I'd like to thank each and every Turkish representative as well. You know, Turkey holds an important place when it comes to the production and aquaculture of sea bream, sea bars, uh, trout, sea bass, trout and Turkish salmon. And additionally, in 2014, uh, the regulation on the traditional and uh, complementary um, medicine was adopted in Turkey. And accordingly, there has been an increase in the use of medicinal leech uh, in Turkey. And also the number of farms uh, to do licensed production has increased for medicinal leech in Turkey after the introduction of the law into, of, of the regulation in 2014. And when it comes to collection of the medicinal leech, we have the communique belonging to our general directorate on the uh, trade, on the collection and trade of the medicinal leech, uh, aquaculture actually, in general. And this way, uh, we take as the basis the CITES um, convention, convention on the international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora, because according to CITES, uh, medicinal leech um, is endangered and we have to protect it. That's why medicinal leech has been put under protection in Turkey and accordingly quotas for collection has been identified. And in line with the in collaboration uh, with the CITES national authority, uh, that is to say TÜBİTAK, Turkish Scientific um, Committee, we identified the quota of 2,000 uh, kilograms for the collection of medicinal leech uh, for 2021 in Turkey and and in our country in our country currently we have eight farms medicinal leech farms aquaculture farms uh, producing uh, producing medicinal leech uh, with a total projected capacity of um, 8172 uh, kilograms per year and these a licensed facilities enterprises are subjected to inspection uh, in line with the provisions of the regulation and the com communic similar to the other uh, facilities and enterprises in Turkey. Uh, in conclusion, let me put it that way. Turkey, Turkey is one of the 
is one of the countries uh, which is making important leaps and developments when it comes to the production of medicinal reading and production of medicinal uh, leach. And uh, this is why we target at increased um, increased production and protection um, uh, for the medicinal leach in Turkey. At the closing of my speech, I'd like to uh, I'd like to thank once again all the representatives coming from different countries, joining from different countries today. Uh, I'd like to thank um, distinguished participants uh, joining from the brotherly and sisterly countries of Turkey. And I'd like to thank the Dean, uh, the faculty of the Faculty of the Aquaculture of the Sparta Applied Sciences University. I'd like to thank you deeply. Um, and I'd like to thank all the personnel um, of the uh, General Directorate and the FAO. And also, uh, I specifically, I specifically would like to thank my dear friend, um, FAO Sec Coordinator, Mr. Vural Gutu, my dear friend. I'd like to thank him, and also the uh, Senior F Fisheries and Aquaculture Officer, Mr. Haidar. I'd like to thank them and, and the whole FAO team for doing great work, notwithstanding the challenging uh, circumstances brought about by COVID-19. I'd like to welcome you all once again. I wish a very successful webinar to you all. Thank you very much. It was uh, we were honoured by your speech. We would like to continue with, with FAO Sub-Regional Coordinator for Central Asia and FAO Turkey representative, Mr. Viral Gutu, um, has been joining us kindly. The floor is yours, sir, for the opening speech. Can we test your sound, sir? Says uh, the lady in the studio. Good morning, delighted colleagues. Good morning, Jamie. Dear Gutu. I see Hi. you hear me well. Let me then start. And uh, distinguished uh, uh, Director General, uh, my very good friend uh, Alto Atalay, and uh, also uh, uh, distinguished Rector of Esparto University of Applied Sciences, Professor Ibrahim Diler, uh, distinguished uh, uh, colleagues. Uh, from the uh, ministries, from the government, from the countries. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to address you today. Uh, and uh, uh, this webinar on uh, medicinal leach, le uh, leach sector, which is organized by Sparta University of Applied Sciences, this is definitely a, a step forward in our relationship with, uh, with, uh, with the university. Uh, I would like just to uh, thank again the rector for hosting uh, me and my colleagues from the ministry back in October last year uh, in Sparta and um, uh, informing us about this very good collaboration and very productive potential collaboration between ourselves. And here we are. Here we are. Here we are with, uh, within our uh, framework of uh, collaboration with the Turkish government. This project. Uh, fish cap project um, is uh, the one which uh, is part of the uh, FAO Turkey partnership program. This program, uh, which uh, is funded by the government of Turkey and uh, is to be implemented in the countries um, neighboring Turkey, specifically Azerbaijan and Central Asia, uh, but not only but not only limited to them. And uh, today's webinar is definitely one of the examples of, um, of broadening our cooperation with other countries. And I would like to specifically greet our colleagues from Azerbaijan, Canada, India, Iran, Romania, Spain, Ukraine, and also I saw my colleagues from Tajikistan and other countries of Central Asia participating in this, uh, in this webinar. And uh, thank you very much for your interest. Uh, I'd like to uh, also say that uh, as FAO, we are very much interested and willing to cooperate with universities and research centers uh, and uh, other stakeholders to widen our knowledge and experience on food and agriculture related issues, including definitely fisheries and aquaculture with, we are discussing uh, today and specifically on medicinal leach. Uh, when I... Uh, uh, took a look at the agenda and topic of the webinar. 
to be honest, uh, the first thing which came to my mind was uh, uh, my uh, childhood when I was reading the adventure books of uh, Alexander Dumas and uh, mentioning about uh, leeches and using leeches for treating uh, different kind of diseases like headaches or uh, blood pressure in the Middle Ages. And uh, now we are discussing uh, specifically on this sector. It's, uh, very, I'm very, very interested, very, very interested. And I'm sure that the experience of uh, hundreds of years ago when I, I was reading in the books, but uh, the rector just mentioned about thousands of years of history of using leeches for medicinal purposes. There's definitely uh, a, a potential which should be even more explored. We realize that from economic aspects to biological characteristics, almost all dimensions of the medicinal leech sector will be discussed in the webinar uh, today and tomorrow. And I do hope that uh, this uh, webinar will contribute to further research and development studies in the uh, medicinal leech sector and in turn will be very helpful for aquaculture, health sector, veterinary pharmacy sector, and, and, uh, and others. Uh, and uh, you mentioned about the efforts of uh, the Turkish government, but also the, the demand for medicinal leech, which is uh, very high currently. It has, to be, it has to be explored, it has to be worked out, and we are happy to be part of this effort. I strongly believe that this webinar will raise even more awareness on medicinal, medicinal leech uh, and uh, will raise the awareness about this potential and uh, will provide also various opportunities to share these good practices and different countries' experiences uh, on medicinal leech. I'd like to thank each and everyone for um, all the efforts in uh, promoting this sector and I'd like to wish very good success to the works of the uh, webinar and exchange which will be happening during these two days. Again, uh, thank you very much uh, to the rectors, to the university colleagues for organizing it, but also to all the countries participating and uh, for, all the, for all our partnership which we have uh, in this sector together with uh, the Turkish government. Thank you very much yeah. and good luck. Çok teşekkür ederim. Thank you. Thank you dear Vera Ergutu. Değerli izleyenlerimiz, konuşması için Sayın Gutu'ya teşekkür ediyoruz. Isparta Uygulamalı Bilimler Üniversitesi'nin Mr. Gutu, thank you very much for your kind remarks. And now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Dr. Mustafa Ceylan. He is with me in the studio. Uh, he's going to speak about the expectations from the webinar, expected outputs, and what are we going to listen to during these couple of days. Uh, Mr. Jaydan is from Sparta University of Applied Sciences, Editor Aquaculture Faculty. Yes, you are all ears, Doctor. Distinguished uh, professors, distinguished Viral Gutu, distinguished uh, DG, distinguished representatives of the public institutions and agencies and organizations from all around the world, all those who are participating in our webinar, please accept my kindest regards. During these couple of days, we are going to handle the medicinal leech in different aspects and we're going to reveal all the problems and we're going to find and discuss solutions and i will try to be very short so that we can directly start with our webinar but first let me say a couple of, a couple of words about the contents of our webinar excuse me professor mustafa if you can hear me there is a problem in the Turkish broadcasting. Some participants cannot see the Turkish language option in their program. So we discuss with the team of interpreters uh, and Maria and Lisa are making the planning. So all those participants who would like to listen to the Turkish language, uh, please 
use the French option. If your program is not installed with the up-to-date version, please use the French option in order to follow the webinar in Turkish language. Thank you. In the first uh, session, we're going to discuss the status of medicine in leech populations. In the second session, we are going to talk about the smuggling and trade. And tomorrow, you know, we have another session. We're going to discuss different topics uh, because we will start uh, discussing the aquaculture, the enzymes uh, extracted from the leech and also the complementary role of leech in medicine. And, you know, in the Ministry of Aquaculture and Forestry, there is some legislative work going on. We're going to be informed about these efforts. During this seminar, your part, active participation is kindly requested, and it's very uh, essential. Uh, in fact, at the end of the presentations, we will have QA sessions and also uh, till the uh, end. Uh, if you can remain with us, we will have closing remarks. So, we're about to start. I would like to thank the rector of our university, our dean, and also I would like to uh, thank the FAO uh, Sub-Regional Coordinatorship for Central Asia and Turkey Representative Office for their all technical interpretation support and also under the FAO Turkey uh, Partnership Program. We have a capacity building project for fisheries and aquaculture development, you know, and as a funder, we have the Ministry of Agriculture and uh, Forestry. I would like to thank all these entities. I would like to thank you for participating and joining this event. And also, I would like to thank Isibu TV, the uh, Broadcasting TV Corporation of our university for covering this event. Thank you. Mr. Haidar Persoy will be the next speaker and he's going to deliver the last opening remarks. He is Senior Fishery Aquaculture Officer in FAO. The floor is yours. Thank you. I'd like to continue in English if you let me, of course. Participants, it's a great pleasure for me to address you today to all of you. I'm so pleased to to witness a strong partnership under the Fish Cap project, for which I act as the lead technical officer. Thus, I would like to give some information about the main objective of this uh, event. This event has uh, several multi objectives, which are raise the awareness on the over exploitation and the illegal trade of national, uh, sorry, uh, medicinal leach, share the best practices and country experiences with varying approaches to exploitation of medicinal leach, provide an understanding of medicinal uh, leach aquaculture from a business viewpoint, address the threats to the sustainable use of the medicinal leech population, and finally, elaborate the exploitation areas and commercial production possibilities of leech enzyme. I personally so happy to be a part of this, uh, this event. I hope that um, this will be the first step in our partnership and we can further develop this partnership with the varying okay, uh, partners from the other regions. The main expected output of this webinar uh, will be a webinar summary report. This is a traditional of our fish cap projects and uh, we, will, we will be happy to get the contribution of the, I mean, the lecturers and the others. And then uh, we, uh, we plan to publish this uh, seminar report as one, as a follow publication. Indeed, uh, we try to, to extend our partnership to other organizations who, who are mandated with the exploitation and trade of the medicinal leech, but unfortunately due to maybe the 
the shortage of time I and mean, we were not able to bring this organization uh, on board but hopefully in the future um, we can uh, work also the other international part uh, partners thank you much Mr. Fersoy, Dalalet his remarks. It means that we have completed the opening remarks in this session. So, uh, Mr. Ibrahim Diler, the rector of the university, Mr. Mustafa Atalay, Mr. Viorel Gutu, Mr. Mustafa Jalan, and Mr. Haidar Fersoy. Thank you all for your opening remarks. Now, this first session about status of the medicinal leech populations will start, and that's all for us. It's up to you now. We wish you a good webinar. Thank you.